Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today's preview is going to be the last one of the season as Hull City take on Luton Town away on the last game of the season so it's wasting the time, let's get straight into things. So as it stands before recording this video, well while recording this video rather, Hull City are 14th and Luton are 3rd in the league so Hull City nothing to play for really but it'll be good to end the season a bit on a bit of a high hopefully. Um, and yeah, Luton third, so they're guaranteed third, I think now. Um, so yeah, they'll be looking to get some momentum going into the championship playoffs. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, Hull City away form has been okay this season. Um, our home form in recent, recent weeks has been pretty, pretty good. Um, but away from has let us down in some parts. Um, but yeah, I think I, you know, I'd be happy with the point. Saying that right now, I would be happy with the point. Um, Luton obviously a very good team. Um, you know they've got they've very impressed me this season. You know the way they they go about the budget and signing players and you know. But yeah third in the league and you know I wish them all the best in the playoffs um, because they've got a good manager Rob Edwards and um, they've got some very good players um, and last time he played us Lansbury scored or was it Lansbury or was it somebody else well one of our players scored a really good goal against us anyway um, but yeah I think it's going to be a tough game but I am going to go for a draw um, I'll, I don't think we'll win because Luton are a good team um, I'll go for 1-1, one, one. Um, I'll go for Luton, I'll go for that Adebayo, and for us, Hull City, I will go for Zan Tufan, because he's scored a few good goals recently, important goals as well. Um, so yeah, I'll go for Zan Tufan. Um, so yeah, that's my score prediction. Um, sort of my thoughts on, on the game as well, and if Luton fans watching this and you want a Hull City player to look out for, um, I definitely recommend looking out for Harry Vaughan, number 14. He was played on the left wing, um, he's only played a couple of games at the end of this season, um, having signed in from Oldham, but he's a very, very good player from what we've seen so far. And he's only young, so hopefully he can get better and better, and hopefully, who knows, he could be the next King Lewis Potter for all Hull City fans know. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to talk to a Luton fan called Tyler Boys TV, or T Boys TV rather. Um, he's been on the channel before and I really do appreciate him coming on again um, but yeah let's go get started now Hello people it is me Tyler from T-Boys TV obviously I've been on Kieran's channel before obviously the two previous times uh, Hull have played Luton obviously he's asked me to come on the channel and give my thoughts going into it so obviously this game is the final game of the season um, in the league uh, for Luton Obviously, we've confirmed playoffs, confirmed it quite a while ago, uh, getting that point away at Reading. And it's an interesting one because, obviously, we've guaranteed third now as well uh, with Middlesbrough losing to Rotherham. The final two games, obviously, we still want to keep momentum going into the playoffs. But, you know, it's one of them where we can rotate it and change it up a little bit, uh, especially for the players that haven't got as many minutes as others just to, you know, get into the swing of things. And if they are, you know, needed to play a part, which I'm sure everybody will in the playoffs. It's good that they all have their minutes under their belts. But yeah, obviously recent form going into it. We're unbeaten uh, in 13 games now. Our last loss was obviously Burnley. Um, you know, even Burnley fans were saying they don't really know how they won that game. In my opinion, we deserved a point out of that game. Uh, didn't quite manage to get one, but, you know, very good performance that day, considering it is against, obviously, Burnley, who obviously won the league and had a brilliant season. In the championship. Luton player to watch out for. Going into this one. It's got to be Morris I would say. Uh, like I said. Obviously I expect us to rotate a little bit. Uh, going into this game. Especially if you know certain players are back. But I just feel we will start Morris. Either way. Uh, just because. Obviously he's up there for goal scorers. Uh, I don't think he'll get top goal scorer. Because obviously that comes like 8 goals ahead. Or whatever it is. Um, but he is only 1 goal behind Jokeres. Um, so I reckon he could have a good chance of getting second and obviously he's been brilliant you know the reason I say to watch out for him like I said you know third top scorer in the league this season 
and yeah he's just been absolutely brilliant so he's definitely a player Hull have got to watch out for when it comes to a player of Hull I'd probably go with the striker I can never pronounce his name but the very long long name he's up there for goal scorers as well apologies I can't remember his name but I'd say him because of you know again he's up there uh, when it comes to goal scorers and yeah I would say him going into it um, but yeah as for a score prediction how do I see it going now obviously earlier in the season we won 2-0 Friday night Lansbury scored an absolute banger um, you know obviously last season the last game at Kenilworth Road it was 1-0 because I expect us to rotate a little bit, but still end it on a high um, when it comes to, you know, final league game. And Hull, you know, they are a good side, you know, and I think last, uh, sorry, next season they can progress on what they have this season under Liam. Uh, they've been a lot better defensively, I felt, when I have watched them at times this season. They don't really conceded a lot, really. I think the last game they conceded a lot was Middlesbrough, but Middlesbrough, I think they got like the most goals in the league or something. Um, so there's no, not really any shame in that, to be honest. I reckon they can progress on it. You know, they're better defensively. It won't be like when we played them last time at Kenilworth Road, where you know, they're calling for their manager's head. Obviously, they had, phew, I can't even remember how many losses in a row, but it weren't good enough. A lot better now. Established championship team. I'm going to go 1-0 Luton. I'm going to go 1-0 Luton. I'm going to go the exact same score as it was last year, but I think it'll be different in the chance where Hull will be better. Um, but they just won't quite get that goal and we'll just edge it. Um, like I said, obviously, we don't need to win. Obviously, first guaranteed. But I just feel you know, both teams, nothing to really play for. Now, I just think it'll be one of them where, because we're at home, we'll just end it on a high. Um, and obviously, our... Our last home loss in general was obviously Burnley as well. So, yeah, 1-0 Luton for me uh, in this one. But, yeah, they are my thoughts uh, for Kieran. So, yeah, big up to Kieran for, you know, bringing me onto the channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell. Smash the like on this video as well. And if you want to follow me, if you search up T-Boys TV, I'll be the first thing that comes up now, finally, because it literally used to be a lot of other T-Boys TVs. Uh, but yeah, I'm the first one that comes up. And then if you want to follow me across anything else, if you've gone to one of my recent videos or streams, everything will be there. So, yeah, take care, people, and peace. So, yeah, thank you to all T-Boys TV for coming on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, wish you the best luck in the playoffs. Obviously not for um, Monday when we play you, but hopefully wish you all the best in the playoffs. And uh, yeah, who knows? Kenilworth kind of Road could be a ground in the Premier League um, next season, which, you know, um, yeah, which will be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment your score prediction for this game, and subscribe if you are new. We're around 300, so that's massively appreciated, guys. Thank you, guys, and for subscribing to the channel. really does mean a lot. Um, and thank you for watching my whole city content. Um, but yeah, and um, hopefully we're back for the review video and um, after the game on Monday. And um, but if not, please take care. I'll see you all later. This is the end of 2023 season. Let's go.